Hello, everybody. Um, thank you for tuning in. Um, just a quick video on the sign of the cross and um, some of its meanings, not all of them, but some of them. Uh, for instance, when we start a prayer, uh, we make the sign of cross, of the cross. When we enter in a church, uh, we uh, um, use the uh, holy water and make the sign of the cross. When we uh, start the mass, the priest starts with the uh, sign of the cross. Um, I would like to just um, uh, um, enter deeper a little bit in uh, two moments, which is the beginning of a prayer or the beginning of the mass, uh, with different um, uh, qualities, different intensities, but still um, um, very similar in their meaning. Um, when we make the sign of the cross, in fact, um, we are receiving a grace. We are receiving a, a special grace. But let us understand the meaning of this grace from where it comes and what uh, it uh, wants to realize in, uh, in our life. We are saved by Jesus, um, the crucified on the cross. This is redemption. And redemption is the source of all graces. From his side, from all his being, there is a uh, uh, the, the Holy Spirit, the grace of God is given to us um, um, all the time, every minute, every second. So when we make the sign of the cross, in fact, we acknowledge the redemption of Jesus. We acknowledge its presence in our time, in our life. We acknowledge also the fact that he is loving us all the time. And we, allow, we open the door, if you want, of our will to receive um, his grace. Um, it marks the beginning of our prayer. It marks the beginning, for instance, of uh, the Mass. Uh, it's in making the sign of the cross in a way opens for us um, a door to allow us to enter in a different state, in a, in a deeper state. Um, it allows us to receive the grace of God, his love, in order to, to be able to um, re talk to him uh, uh, and enter, for instance, in the case of the Mass, in the uh, depth of uh, and the greatness of all, uh, what, uh, will, uh, all that will happen uh, during the Mass. So, um, speaking specifically about the Mass, when we start, we say, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, or the priest, the, the, the priest says, for instance, may the grace of God um, be with you, uh, the communion of the Holy Spirit, uh, etc., uh, be with you. Um, this, in fact, is the, uh, it marks at the beginning of a grace that God wants to give us. So we start the Mass, we enter in the Mass, and then we come out of the Mass. It's a, it's a, it's a unique moment. Uh, it's a very deep moment. And God, in order to allow us to um, enter in, in the Mass, uh, He gives us a, a special grace. And it's very important to be aware of this grace because this grace then will allow us to live the Mass in a completely different way. So it all starts with a sign of the cross. It all starts by opening, entering through that door, which is redemption. redemption. So just to remind you these few points that um, more specifically during the Mass, we cannot attend the Mass without the grace of God because the Mass is placed at a certain height. Think of the uh, Mount Tabor, the Mount of the Transfiguration the mountain of the transfiguration of Christ. It's a very high mountain. So the mass is a little bit this very high mountain. It's the moment where heaven and earth are, will meet. This is what we say in the second part of the mass. We join, we join the um, uh, song of praise of the angels and the saints. And we say, holy, holy, holy. Uh, but it starts from the beginning of the mass. We are at a certain height uh, during the mass because we are supposed to listen to the word of God, we are supposed to receive his body and, and, and blood. 
we also, before receiving the Balaam blood, we also are called to participate, to live a little bit of this uh, passion, death, and resurrection of, of Christ, which is the second part of, of the Mass. Okay? So we need a grace in order to be at that level. And this grace is given to us when we um, start the Mass, and we start it in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You see what I'm trying to say? So it's important to remember that we, there is a special grace for each one of us in order to attend Mass, and that it's important to tune into this grace, to be in tune, to be, um, um, to be um, receiving that grace, attentive to it, and corresponding to the action of God in, in this grace in order to listen to the Word of God. This is why you have the first rites of the Mass, which are uh, asking forgiveness from the Lord, because we ask forgiveness, we want to be cleansed in order to enter even deeper and correspond better to His grace. Okay, we do. We make also the act, the, the sign of the cross in the beginning, for instance, of the proclamation of the gospel. We say uh, we do. We do it here. There are various interpretations, but I mean they are quite obvious. No, may the gospel, may the the light of Jesus. Uh, in his words that come through his, his, his words be always in our mind in uh, everything we say and also may Jesus and his word dwell always uh, in, in, in our heart so uh, it's also uh, uh, asking for uh, help receiving a special grace in order to listen to uh, Jesus you see so I need all my mind all my capacity uh, to, of prayer, of speaking, uh, etc., and all my heart to be there in order to listen to the word of God. Okay, so just to remind you some aspects of this, the sign of cross. The sign of cross is means receiving the grace of God, and Catholics and Orthodox do the sign of God uh, of the cross uh, differently. Um, it, it doesn't matter; it, it, each one has its own uh, meaning, and this is fine. Uh, the Catholics do sign left to the right and the Orthodox from right uh, to the left um, uh, and not only the Orthodox but also the uh, or many Oriental churches do to the right uh, and, and the left and of course they join the entire mystery of the Trinity and Incarnation in the hands by doing this joining the three fingers here, meaning the Trinity, and the two other fingers here, meaning the two nature of Jesus, uh, God, and, uh, and man resting on, on earth, being here on earth incarnation. So, um, of course, uh, the body participates into the uh, worship, uh, in the work of the grace of God. So remember always, signing us with the sign uh, of the cross, um, allows us to receive a grace. This is why sometimes when uh, we are in a difficult moment or something, we remember that and then we can cross ourselves, uh, make the sign uh, of the cross, uh, making it a little bit slower uh, with a, a greater uh, attentiveness, not with exaggeration or being showy, but it's just for us. Uh, some people do it so quickly that it's like, um, it, I think it's good to remember uh, its importance um, and uh, in order to enter to enter I, I often uh, pray uh, with my daughter and uh, I always remind her I say you did you made the sign of the cross but did you enter really you see so I received the grace but did you really use the grace you see I, I, I say I said in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit that's fine I am receiving a grace but am I aware of it am I corresponding to it Am I using it? And this grace is a little bit like what uh, Christ says in St. Matthew, uh, chapter 6, verse 6, which is, enter in your room, close the door, and be there with your Father. So the grace of God that comes from uh, the redemption of Christ uh, on the cross uh, is helping us to enter in this new space. It's very important to understand that. Uh, God gives us the grace to enter in the in this uh, new space. So uh, let us thank the Lord for his redemption, thank the Lord for all his sufferings uh, on the cross, and also let us uh, make use of uh, this grace 
that uh, he wants to give us uh, all the time. Thank you very much.